So the first exercise we're gonna do is the flat barbell bench press. We wanna start with our feet firmly planted on the ground. We're gonna lay back. We're gonna have a natural arch in our back here. We're gonna retract our shoulder blades and pull them down and that's gonna ensure that that arch is there for when we do the movement. Inhale and unrack the bar. We're gonna slowly lower the bar with our shoulder blades retracted back, pause, and explode up. And not lock out at the top of the movement. Exhale on the way up. And make sure you keep that feet planted on the ground. Nice arch in your back. Don't over arch it and don't pick your butt up off the bench. So next up, we're gonna do the incline dumbbell bench press. Again, similar cues to the flat barbell bench press, except we're gonna use a bench press now at approximately a 45 degree angle to target our upper chest. And when we take the dumbbells, our starting position is gonna be right here. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna have that natural arch in our back, our feet planted. We're gonna explode up and squeeze together at the top, but don't totally lock your elbows out. We're gonna slow and controlly lower it to your upper chest. Inhale, explode up. And I want you to really focus on your upper chest here, squeezing and engaging it. A lot of people have a hard time engaging it, with time and practice, you'll get there. And again, we leave our ego at the door. You wanna take a weight that allows you to perform the exercise properly and hit that rep range of approximately 12 to 15 reps. All right, for our next exercise, we're gonna do the machine chest fly. When people think of the chest muscle, they always think about pushing, right? Benching, like we started out with. However, the chest also does adduction, right? Where it brings weight inward, it brings it toward you. So when you do this chest fly to target the chest muscle, I want you to firmly plant your feet again, tighten your core, engage your abs, and think about giving your mom a big bear hug, right? I want you to not overextend your elbows. You want a slight bend, and you want to bring the weight toward you and really focus on squeezing your chest together. So exhale, and at the end of the movement, really focus on that isometric squeeze to fully engage your chest. Okay, so our next movement is gonna be the cable crossover. So I want you to stagger your feet so you don't sway all over the place. Take a nice step forward. Arch, a natural arch in your back, but your chest sticking forward with your shoulders back so that your chest does the work. I then want you to bring the grips up and toward your lower nipple area. Let it go all the way back with your chest forward, elbows tight against your body and really focus on the squeeze at the top. There's no need to bring this all the way up to your eyes, just right in front of your, your chest height. So next up, we're gonna do the seated calf raise. And you might be thinking, why are we doing calves on chest day? Your calves, your abdominal muscles, are muscles that can take a lot of load. And we could do a lot of reps with them and we could train them frequently. So um, I like to incorporate calves into several of my workouts to make sure that I'm adequately targeting them and they're getting trained sufficiently. So at the end of the chest day, we're gonna throw in some seated calf raises. Um, everyone's gym is gonna be slightly different. Find a calf raise machine, get the pads slightly above your knees, toes on the platform with your heels drop down a little bit to get the extension. We're gonna unrack the weight. And I don't want your 
your hands involved at all. Some people will pull it back and they'll rock. I want you to allow your calves to do all the work. So lower it down, get a nice good stretch at the bottom, whatever is comfortable to you, and then all the way up and really squeeze your calves at the top to focus on them. Down, up, and squeeze. None of this, right? Train it like it's another muscle. I want you to really focus on it. All the way down, all the way up and squeeze. You'll notice probably that you haven't been training your calves properly by focusing on that um, contraction at the top of the workout. By really focusing on that squeeze, I bet you feel it more the next day than you typically would. So next up, we're gonna do the standing calf raise. Your calves may be already be totally fried. I get it. So if you don't have a calf uh, machine for weighted calf raises, I don't care if you just stand there and do calf raises and burn yourself out doing them that way. If you have weight and a machine like this, I want you to do the same thing. For the starting position, I want you to really focus on getting that nice stretch at the bottom. And then at the top, really flex and squeeze those calves. Full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up and squeeze. Down, up. And that's it.